Wellness Center are not seeking increases this year. Uh, so we'll be going through Mason, Alyssa, Patty, and Jason. And uh, again, for those of you who uh, weren't here before, uh, the fee increases this year are limited by state law to 1% of the in-state tuition. Uh, so that's $2.88 this year. Uh, any questions or comments before we begin? Fantastic. second time hearing this, uh, but for those who are new, welcome. I hope you guys enjoyed the presentation today. To kind of just dive in, this is a student activity fee, and essentially what we are is we fund all departments and entities that are kind of underneath the umbrella of what involves student activities and student services on campus. Uh, to go through the list, pretty much we had include uh, athletics, vital information network, campus attractions, campus rec and intramurals, KMES radio, Memorial Union, performing arts, the spectrum, student government, and student organizations. Um, to pretty much sum it up, we do what students are active in on campus, and we try our best to provide all these services to the fullest potential that we can. Uh, going on that, the future potential for student impact that we have is massive, to say the least. The student activity at its core is centered around providing all students with ways to engage in campus activities and opportunities. Along with that, we need to see that one of our biggest issues right now is being unable to fund the current programs that we are already putting on. One of the biggest issues that we see is deterioration of current assets. The other one that we're seeing is inflation is really taking a massive impact on us. Uh, to kind of jump in on specific examples of those, we need to look at the Memorial Union itself. We're seeing issues in the flooring, we're seeing issues in the ceiling, uh, and this is all stemming from a massive amount of student enrollment that we're seeing in actually using these facilities, these services, and these programs. Because of this, this is actually putting us at a disadvantage and in order to meet our fullest potential of what we're already offering, we're seeking this fee increase to kind of make up the issues that we're already experiencing. To kind of also go on another area in that, Campus Rec is also seeing very similar issues as another example. We can see that this mass use of equipment by more engagement and student involvement is just quickly deteriorating the amount of resources that we have available. Um, it's amazing the things that we currently have to offer, but unfortunately, without more funding, we really can't afford to maintain these things and be able to repair these things, which is one of our biggest issues and one of the things that impedes us in future impacts. Our current student fee funding is basically broken out as such. We get about $3.8 million, as you guys can see right there in the top line, from student fees currently. Within that, student activity fee receives about 23.6% of all student fees that are being paid. Furthermore, we can see that our primary request equates to 22% of the total amount being requested. Uh, for those of you that are new, we can break this down essentially saying our primary request is the higher level amount that we are requesting. The secondary amount is the secondary and lower amounts that everyone is requesting. With that, you can go as a good segue into our secondary request, which equates to about 25% of all the total amounts being requested. To break that down a little more in depth, uh, and I'm pretty sure we go into that a little more on the next slide, our primary request is at 75 cents, our secondary request is at 65 cents. Going on to this, what we would see this fees go towards is to help promote our countless programs that we are already offering and make sure that we can continue to sustain them. We can see our programs such as Bike Share, Intramural Sports, Movies in the Center Theater, Live Performances on Campus, Student Tickets, Performing Arts, the Gold Star Marching Band, the Spectrum, all the funding for the 320 student organizations and even the building operations of the Memorial Union. The reason for the fee increase today is again, as I go over already, we're looking at addressing the major issues that we've already seen through our programs. We're offering a wide variety of programs for students, and that's amazing that we can even come up to this. But the problem is, is the growing amount of student involvement and student engagement, along with the cost of inflation, is really taking its hit on us. This kind of takes us into our next part, which is, as I said earlier, our primary and secondary increase requests. For our primary, you can see we're asking for 75 cents per credit which equates to about $229,000 annually. And for our secondary request, it is at 65 cents, which takes us in a little under $200,000 annually for an increase. Continuing on that, we can see current deficiencies again is our major factor on why we're actually looking for this increase. We need to see that we're failing to completely cover the department costs that we are experiencing. We're also seeing long-term restoration depreciation costs that are taking a major impact on us. 
And on top of that, programs are requiring part-time funding that is not sustainable. And again, we'll touch on that a little bit, but that is another major issue that the Student Activity Fee has been experiencing these past two years. Along with that, the biggest challenges facing the Student Activity Fee are inconsistencies with short-term solutions to our funding. Unable to reach these amount of funding for actual consistent funding has honestly been one of the biggest impacts on us. We've seen short-term funding come in where we've been able to make up some of these issues, but unfortunately we can't keep that funding around, which has been one of our biggest issues. Going on with that, again, to reiterate, inflation is another ma ma major issue that we're experiencing in areas such as athletics. These are major problems that are growing our costs overall. Now, to kind of break this down, this is essentially uh, the first four, and we'll go into the second four as well, uh, but the first four big part of the student activity fee breakdown. The key thing to take away from this isn't necessarily the amount of money that they're getting, but relatively where the bars are at. To explain, this is fiscal year 16 revenue, this is fiscal year 15 revenue, and this is fiscal year 14. The key thing to remember is that in fiscal year 15, we actually then decrease into fiscal year 16 for all of our organizations that are underneath the umbrella of student activity fee. This is essentially where the premise of our increase comes from, is we're looking to increase the amount to simply get back to where we were at these fiscal year levels. Also, to let it be known, fiscal year 16 is the same as our current fiscal year of fiscal year 17. So we've been below that fiscal year 8, 15 amount for a couple of years now. This is again a breakdown of the other entities, including campus attractions and media entities, campus recreation rooms and student government. Um, going on to that, we need to see the impact of the student fees is massive and huge for the student activity fee, as this is almost entirely all of our in income that we're receiving. Uh, one of the big things to uh, take notice, this is the primary source of revenue for almost all of our entities under the umbrella, and for some, this is the only source of revenue for some of our entities. Therefore, the student activity fee is entirely essential for us to operate. Along with that, we need to see that, the, as I said earlier, one of our big problems is this inconsistent funding that we've been receiving to try and make up these deficits, which has been awesome for short-term solutions. But unfortunately, we're unable to really come back to those. Um, what we should see here is this is the funding that we are receiving from reserve funding in past fiscal years, which was about 150,000 in uh, fiscal year 15, and about 173,000 in fiscal year 14, which numbers have again decreased to about nothing right now. Along with that, we're seeing other sources of inconsistent revenue, such as student government reserves, where we had 88,000 in fiscal year 14 and 40,000 in fiscal year 15. Now, this is a breakdown of every entity that is asking for a request, and it equates to how much they're going to be receiving. The key thing is, is this is the difference between fiscal year 16 and 17 versus where we were at in fiscal year 15. Going back to the difference in that graph, that little difference is equated right here. This is our primary request per department right here. The big thing to take away from this is almost every one of these is essentially trying to get exactly back where we were in fiscal year 15. The two exclusions to take note of is Memorial Unit and student organizations, and the reason they are requesting more than where they were at in fiscal year 15 is because we've seen a large amount of student usage of these two programs. There's been a lot more heavy traffic in the Memorial Union, and we've seen a drastic increase of about 60 student organizations since fiscal year 15. Therefore, this is why we're requiring these two amounts, which are over the top of fiscal year 15, but are absolutely necessary because of student usage. <coughs> now, another graph kind of explaining where we will be at. The key thing to notice here is this is where we would be at if we received our proposed increase and our primary increase, and this is where we were at in fiscal year 15. The key thing to take away from this is we are dead even in almost all of these entities by getting this increase. Again, to reiterate, we are simply trying to get back to fiscal year 15 numbers in order to sustain where we are at. By doing so, we'll be able to counteract our big issues that we've seen in previous or the past few fiscal years and address these major issues. A little bit of historical context, we have not received a fee increase since 2014, thus it's been a few years. Within that, that also coincides with the fiscal year 15 increase, where we then have seen decreases in the amount of overall revenue that we've had over the few years. Therefore, we've been a little lower than we actually were after we received that increase. Um, another thing to take note of is we've really been seeing deficits in our spending, and because of this, if we can't take action, we're going to have to see cuts in programs. Uh, we're going to see major issues because just from our last increase, we initiated programs so huge, such as bike share and free performing arts tickets. Therefore, allowing us to get more funding would hopefully allow us to not only solve our current issues, but also allow us to expand even further. 
going on. This is essentially our contingency plan if we do not receive our fee increase. Uh, beyond the secondary fee increase, what we'll be experiencing is some of the major issues such as cutting programs, reducing number of participant programs, reducing hours of operation, deterioration of current assets, and uh, future budget cuts to student organizations. How we plan to improve is essentially the members of the student activity fee. We plan to increase our overall potential by reaching solutions to these issues I've been talking about. By getting a fee increase, we'll be able to counteract inflation. We'll be able to counteract the amount of student involvement. We'll be able to see different ways to actually address these problems, which would be a major factor. In the student activity fee, our goal is to promote a strong culture and improve life for students at NDSU. And by receiving this student activity fee increase, we will be able to counteract so many major issues that has been ingrained in our system and then potentially even expand to become an even better program. With that, I encourage you guys to ask any questions you may have. Uh, there's a few members of the student activity fee here who I may uh, field the questions to, but with that, any questions? All right, perfect. Thank, Thank you, Mason.